Hey everyone, today I want to share with you one of my favorite fall recipes called praline pumpkin dessert. So this is one of my really old recipe binders that I used to keep recipes in way back before we pinned things on Pinterest. I would just like print them off or rip them out of magazines and stick them in here. This particular recipe I actually cut off of the back of a Betty Crocker cake mix years ago. It's such a quick and easy recipe. I made it that year and I've made it every year pretty much since. So here it is if you want to take a quick snapshot. These are all of the ingredients that you'll need a yellow cake mix or a golden vanilla, pecans, pumpkin, make sure it's pure pumpkin and not a filling, pumpkin pie spice, butter, eggs, and then it calls for evaporated milk, but I'm um, using whipping cream and whole milk. So before you get started, you wanna go ahead and preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Okay, now you're just gonna add all of your ingredients in one big bowl. So the first ingredient I'm putting in is my one can of pumpkin puree. This is a 15 ounce can. Next, I'm adding in the milk. The recipe actually calls for one 12 ounce can of evaporated milk, but when I went to make this recipe, I realized that I did not have any evaporated milk, so I just Googled alternatives and found that you can actually mix equal parts of whipping cream and whole milk. So I'm just doing six ounces of whole milk and six ounces of heavy whipping cream. All right, now we're just gonna add in three whole eggs. And the last ingredient to this bowl is gonna be the pumpkin pie mix. So you'll add in four teaspoons of that. Then you're gonna mix all of your ingredients together with a whisk. I don't have a whisk, so I'm just using my hand mixer. And I'm just going to mix it on slow speed for about 30 seconds, just to make sure that I don't over mix it. Okay, now we're gonna work on our next step. First, we're going to melt the butter. So this is three-fourths of a cup of butter, or you can use margarine. And I'm just going to pop this in the microwave and melt it. There we go. So now you're going to grease the bottom and the sides of your pan, and I'm just using this Crisco butter no-stick spray. And then you're gonna pour your pumpkin mixture straight into the pan. So here comes the yellow cake mix. All you're gonna do is open up your cake mix and pour this straight on top of all of your pumpkin mixture. I'm just taking a fork to spread it all out, make sure that it's even and that all of my pumpkin mixture is covered. Now
Now you're gonna pour your chopped pecans or walnuts on top of that. Just spread them all out over the layer of cake mix. And last but not least, you're gonna take your melted butter and drizzle it all on top of the pecans and the cake mix. The three of these combined create sort of a crust over the top of your pumpkin layer, and to me, that's the best part. All right, we're gonna pop this in the oven and set our timer for 50 to 60 minutes. You can check it after 50 minutes by sticking a butter knife down into the center and just make sure that it comes out clean. If it doesn't, just stick it in there for a few minutes more, but mine was perfect at 50 minutes. And then when it's done, you're just gonna pull out of the oven and let it cool off just enough so that it doesn't burn your mouth and it will be ready to go. It tastes best when it's warm, but you can also keep this in the fridge for up to two or three days. It makes a ton. It's a really great recipe if you need something quick and easy to make for Thanksgiving, but I just make it just for myself. It sort of reminds me of a mix between pumpkin pie and maybe like sweet potato casserole, but it tastes so good with a little dollop of whipped cream on top. And there you go, quick and easy praline pumpkin dessert. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you make this, please let me know how you like it. And I'd love to know, is there a recipe that you make like your go-to fall recipe every single year? We'll see you guys in the next video.